to The Alexandra Show. So today I'm going to be showing you what has quickly become, I think, my signature look for fall of 2018. I don't know what to call it. Some people have been calling it the 2018 I Dream of Jeannie. Uh, it's basically a half up, half down bun with using some of my cashmere extensions to add length and volume. So maybe you guys can help me come up with a name. So for this look, um, as you can see, you're starting with your hair already clean and blown out, or perhaps like me, um, a couple days dirty but with dry shampoo and freshly blown out just to get rid of any hairline kinks or anything like that. So I will be using three of my cashmere clip-in wefts for this look. So I'll be using the larger wefts, so there's two with the three clips and one with the four clips. So. There you see them. I don't wash my extensions, my clip-in extensions, every time I use them. You really don't need to because they're clipped into your scalp. They're not getting the natural oil from your scalp like our hair is. So I just like to give them a good brush to make sure that they're nice and fresh. And then I'm going to be recurling them. So you can see they're nice and smooth, but they still have some wave left in. So I always like to start, um, I'll kind of go in and section where my bun is going to be. So I get my section. I don't go crazy making the section super clean. I think it looks more natural and organic if the section's not totally clean. Uh, but again, if you want it to be, then take a little extra time here to get it just how you want it. It can be a rectangle, it can be a triangle, whatever feels good. Twist that up, get it out of your way with my trusty butterfly clips. And then I start kind of right above the ear, taking a section back. clipping that up and so then if you have I always recommend you using a dry texturizing spray so either like a dry shampoo dry texturizing spray whatever works well for you but I prefer that over a hairspray just because I think the dry finish is better than a sticky finish so I go in kind of spray that on my root area and then I take my trusty teasing comb you don't go too crazy, but I like to just put a little tease in right at the root. It ensures that the clips stay, They're, the clips are very secure, but I think this just gives you a little extra security. So again, go in, clip, clip, clip. And then you can split your hair right down the middle and bring it up front to work. Generally, I like putting my clip-in extensions first before I curl my hair because then you curl your hair with the extension and it makes it look more natural. So I'm doing my classic GHD Beach Waves. Bring it all the way down. Just going section by section. The color match is so important with the extension, so if you're unsure, definitely find somebody to help you. These are the 20 inch, and I like them because when I'm wearing extensions, like I want to, I have shorter ones, but I like these just to add some real, real length and volume. require a little gymnastics with your arms, but that's okay. <laughs> so next section, let my hair down, and now I'm going right kind of at my temples, 
straight back. Especially the placement of the extensions with this look is important because your hair is going to be up and so you don't want the wefts to show. So again, I'm taking spray right at the root, your favorite dry shampoo or texturizing spray. Teasing. 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 So I've already put one weft in. I have two left. <clears throat> so starting, I just always kind of feel, you don't want it right at the hairline because then it will show. And so you want to go, I would say at least an inch in from your hairline to place your first clip. So reaching around, clip, clip, clip. And then what I like to do is actually brick lay my extensions. So I will overlap this one over the previous one because it will create, create more density in the back of your head where our hair is the most dense anyways. And it gives a fuller effect throughout. So then I'll start this one on this side again about an inch in. Clip. And then I'm overlapping and clipping this into the previous weft. And then I curl again. Again, making sure that you have some of your hair, some of the cashmere hair. Curling it through. Sometimes when the match is so good, you can't tell which hair is which. All your webs are in, ready to go, looking nice and natural. And then let the final section down here. And again, I always like to give this a little bit of a tease also because it helps to conceal any of the clips. So I personally like to tease first, curl second, but you can do whatever feels good for you. And then I'm just gonna quickly go through and add the wave here. See, you do work up a sweat doing here. like to keep it ever so slightly real. All right, so that's it. All your waves are in and now it's time to do the bun. So you already have your hair sectioned. Let it down. Again, back to your trusty teasing comb. I like to go through horizontally, so I'm just taking section by section here, and this is super loose, super fast. I'm just putting a little tease right at the root. So again, holding it and just back combing like an inch off your scalp. And a little looser in the front, and then just gently comb the top layer so it's nice and smooth. And then, Take your hair tie, pick up all the teased hair, and now this is the important part, not to get um, 
pieces from the back caught in the front. So just kind of smooth that back. So picking it up, and then what I like to do is pull the ponytail forward so that you're not picking up the hairs from the back. So you kind of pull it forward and do your ponytail this way. So again, you're not picking up the hairs from the back because it can get, it can turn into like a little knotty mess. So now I've got your pony. <laughs> Tighten it up just like when you were a little girl. And you could totally rock it like this, like tease the pony and you could wrap the pony. Um, kind of hang on to it. Pull it out to create a little more volume in the front. But I'm gonna do a bun. So then give your ponytail a little spray. Take your teasing comb again and you just back comb right through the whole ponytail. Let it go. Your arms should be sore by this point, so um, I don't know if mine's just because of my workout yesterday, but they should be a little sore, otherwise you're probably not doing it right. <laughs> All right, so then you create your little bun, you just wrap it right around. I've been leaving mine with a little tail, but you can do whatever suits you. You can wrap it all the way. So you just place it right around the ponytail and then take your bobby pins in. And what you're doing with the bobby pin, can you even see this? You're kind of grabbing a bit of the top and then securing it through the bottom. It shouldn't require too many, like maybe three to four, because again, it's a little bun and so you don't want bobby pins sticking out all over the place. But just kind of three or four to secure it. And then just play with it a little bit to get it till you like it. And then you can go through now and break up the curls a little bit because you don't want them too stylized. You want more of a loose look. So go through, break up the curls a little bit. You can do it with a brush if you want to really break them up. Don't be afraid to pull these curls out. You won't curl them out, especially the cashmere here. It really hangs on to the curl and to the style. So you're just gonna loosen up the wave. And then take your texture spray. And I always like to lift up and spray up into it. Cause again, we're going for a big hair here. So lift up, spray into it and just use your hands, shake it out. So again, just to review, I used three of my 20 inch cashmere here clip-ins through the wefts. I did one on the bottom right above my ears and then I brick laid two right at the temple area on the back. I went through and curled everything, just did a nice, nice beach wave and then a little bun on top. So it's the 2018 I Dream of Jeannie, <laughs> my signature fall look.